The one thing that we can order on Amazon, and that's a new body. So Kenny um, approached me and asked me if I would be willing to speak to you guys tonight about health and improving your health. So I said, absolutely. I walk in and I see this beautiful mural. <laughs> Kenny, so, so excited, tells me, who's that guy over there? That's me. So I'm beginning to learn that Kenny loves pictures of himself. Well, <laughs> when I did train Kenny, <laughs> this is kind of what happened. So Kenny, thank you for having me here. Appreciate it. I'm glad you could take a joke. All right, so who am I? I want you guys to meet your new uh, guru. So my name is Anthony Bevilacqua. I am a nutritionist and trainer, and I've been in this industry for over 22 years. I have two locations. I have one in East Meadow, and I have one in Massapequa, which is actually down the block from here. Um, we have over 200 five-star reviews on Google. I've been on bodybuilding.com. As Kenny said, I trained Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I was on Fox 5 News. I was featured in Best of Long Island, and I'm an avid writer for Muscle and Fitness as well. So I have over, well over 30 years of experience doing this and getting people into good shape. A portion of every client's membership we donate out. So we do a lot of charity events for local things. We do breast cancer walks and fun drives. We actually just did a pack walk, our second annual pack walk for Last Hope Animal Shelter. We raised over $550 for the animals of the shelter plus donations that we had. So we like to give back to the community. So of course, when Kenny asked me if I'd come and talk to you guys, I was honored. So I'm also a published author. So these are just a couple bunch of my books. You can just type my name in on Amazon and you'll find, find them there. So my goals for tonight, I like to be a little bit more interactive. I don't want to be just teaching you guys. So if you guys have a question, please feel free to ask me. I'm here to help you. And if anything resonates with any of you guys, we can have a conversation after and we can talk and you guys can learn more. So let's talk about what real lasting results with the right action actually means. So when it comes to your health, whenever someone sees a trainer or a nutritionist, they automatically think fat loss, but it goes way beyond that. Fat loss is almost the side effect to getting healthy, but we don't think about getting healthy when we try to lose weight, but that's what actually happens. So a couple of our success stories here, uh, this woman right here, Noel, a lot of health issues, um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, pre-diabetic, osteopenia, so all things that happen as we start to get older. A couple of weeks later, she's down well over 50 pounds and has improved all of those markers and has able to come off her medications as well. So you can reverse aging and you can reverse these health issues that come upon us. Same thing with John in this corner. John was also pre-diabetic and had a bunch of health conditions. He's down 44 pounds and he got his health back on track. And he always, he said, if you put my picture up, you have to put my quote next to it. So he said, a little effort goes a long way. So with the right guidance and the right coaching, all it takes is a little effort to get into the right direction and to move into the direction that you need to go in. Because again, as I said earlier, we only have one body and we have to take care of it because we want to live past 100, right? With quality. Another client testimonial, I'm going to point him out because he's actually here. So Woody, if you could just stand up for me. So let's give Woody a round of applause. So Woody has been with me for quite a while now, and he came to me, and we basically put Humpty back together again, so to say, right? So he lost a bunch of body fat, but aside from that, he also got healthier and got stronger. As we age, and we just lose muscle. It's something that happens naturally. Woody came, he could barely pick up any weight. This guy over here, you know, he mentioned me bench pressing 500 pounds, but that guy over there, who is very young, he's 21 years old, deadlifts well over 400 pounds for reps now. So, you know, congratulations to you because you have definitely reversed aging and you are the pinnacle. All right, so step one. So we're gonna talk about three steps tonight to improve your health. So step one, you need to be working out with weights. So one of the things that happen as we age, again, life gets in the way, right? You're busy at work, you know, you have kids, grandkids, you just don't have time to take care of yourself and start exercising and doing all those things. So what happens? We sit at a desk all day long, we're on the computer. So your body is an adapting machine and can adapt to anything that you do to it. 
So if you're inactive, your body says, well, I don't need to maintain the strength and the muscle mass that I normally would have. I can get rid of some of that. And this is why as we age, it gets much harder to do common things, picking things up off the ground, carrying the groceries in, picking up your grandkids, because it's just not a demand that our body needs. So you need to start working out with weights in order to prevent and improve the aging process. So osteoporosis and osteopenia is a big epidemic with women. It happens as we age, and that's because of lack of bone density. You need to improve your bone density, and weight training is one of the things that does that. Yes, it's very good to do cardio and to be active, but you need to be weight training in order to do that. So it brings me to my example here. So this is Paula. Paula actually didn't lose a lot of weight on the scale. She only lost about eight pounds, but her body looks drastically different. Why? Because she changed her body composition and managed to gain more muscle and was able to lose body fat in the process. But she also suffered from osteopenia, doesn't need her medication or any other thing going forward with that. Her doctor was very happy with that as well. So it doesn't take much to gain muscle and to gain that mobility back that you've lost. It only takes about 30 minutes of weight training done a couple times a week to do this. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any um, experience with weight training? Aside from Woody. As we know he does. No? Everybody just do cardio? All right. So step number two is in order to get healthier, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, you need to eat less than you burn. We all know that, right? And I'm going to yell at whoever brought the cookies back there. But we need to create what's called a calorie deficit. And what a calorie deficit actually means is you need to eat less than you're burning. So you need to burn more than you're eating. So there's a couple of things that make up how many calories we burn throughout the day. It's not just activity. So the first one, and I know you guys can't see that, is your metabolic rate. Or going back to what I said earlier, the amount of muscle you have will determine how many calories you're burning at rest. So let's say I have 100 pounds of muscle. If I lie down in bed and don't move, that's going to help me burn a thousand calories at rest. So if I lose muscle, which what happens over time, now I'm 90 pounds of muscle, I'm only going to be burning 900 calories at rest. So your basal metabolic rate is part of that. The second thing that's part of that is your what's called NEAT or non-exercise activity. So I'm standing here right now, I'm moving around, that's part of that. If you walk you know, to the car and you take, take the stairs instead of the elevator, that also adds part of that. Uh, then you have what you would do with your exercise. So if you walk outside and you burn 200 calories, that adds to that as well. And the final one is the effect that you get from the food. So when you eat food, your body has to actually burn that food off in order to digest it. So certain foods, which I'll talk about in a minute, are going to also be able to help you to burn more calories. So now putting all this together, all those things have to be higher than what you're eating. So for example, if you're burning 2,300 calories and you're eating 1,800, you would be in a calorie deficit of 500 calories and you would get healthier. Studies have shown that when you're in a calorie deficit, your body is going to get healthier and you're going to start to improve all those health markers. So this is very, very important when it comes to health. And the side effect of that is you'll look better. Hopefully that makes sense. So step number three you have to eat higher protein. So protein is very, very important when it comes to getting healthier. So protein does a lot of different things. When you consume protein, you're actually consuming the building blocks of your body. Protein is used to help repair tissues and help to, again, maintain that muscle mass that we don't want to lose as we age. So you need to be consuming more lean proteins. So what are lean proteins? chicken, fish, egg whites, all those foods that we know we should be eating more of, but you need to be consuming them. Again, when it comes to being able to maintain your life as you get older and stay healthier, you need to be able to have more protein in your diet. As we age, we become less sensitive to it, so that means that we need more. This is why kids can get away with having more carbohydrates and fats in their diets because their body is very sensitive to the protein they get. But as we age, we need more in order to keep these processes going, okay? So you have to be eating higher protein. All right, so I'm going to give you guys some bonus tips 
And this is where a lot of people screw up and they think, okay, I'm eating healthier foods, but they're not actually getting healthier by doing this. So we practice, my team and I, you know, we practice and we preach to all of our clients something called flexible dieting, which allows you to be able to maintain um, eating what you want as long as you kind of factor all these things in and measure everything out for the day. The thing is, is that certain people fall into this trap where they say, okay, I'm, I'm eating very healthy, but I'm not getting healthier, my, nothing's improving, I'm not losing weight, and it's because of the amounts of the things that they're eating. And there's certain foods that do make these a lot harder to lose. So, food number one, oil. So, I'm Italian, my mom is off the boat Italian. So, oil, she, all these years, I've been doing this now for 25 years, all these years she still doesn't get it, right? Still doesn't get it, but it's, it's my oil, it's fine. The thing is with oil, it's very calorie dense. So in one tablespoon of oil contains about 150 calories, in one. Now my mom doesn't cook with one. She cooks with three or four. So the problem is that these things add up very, very quickly. So if I have my mom's chicken, for example, and she takes the plain chicken, puts it in the pan, and cooks it the way she normally does, that chicken breast should be about 200 calories. It's actually closer to six, 700 by the time she's done cooking it. And if you just replace that with using the Pam spray, you'll save all those extra calories. So yes, even though you're going out to eat and you're getting a salad because you're trying to be healthier, your salad probably has more calories than the burgers and fries because of all those extra fats that are in there. Okay, so you have to be careful. It doesn't matter what kind of oil it is too. Olive oil, canola oil, avocado oil, whatever miracle oil they come up with next, they're all the same. The other thing too, as you can see from this picture, 400 calories of oil is not gonna keep you full. So it takes a very little room in your stomach versus 400 calories of chicken that, as we spoke about earlier, is going to be more important to, you know, maintaining your muscle mass and getting healthier versus 400 calories of vegetables. As you can see, the vegetables will take up a lot more space than the oil. So if you avoid oil by just making that one switch, it's going to make a big difference. Um, we had a client who uh, came to us. She came to us for fat loss. So I, I'll tell this story, but she came to us for fat loss and you know, she's works with us very diligently. She's very good with her nutrition and just was at a plateau. Can't lose. I don't know what's going on. Why? Okay. Let's take pictures. Let's see what you're eating on a daily basis. And this is why it's important to have a coach or somebody to watch over you. So this way you can see your mistakes that you might be missing. So sends pictures in and the pictures look glossy, right? So I said, what are you cooking the food in? I'm cooking it with oil. Okay, are you factoring that oil in? No? Okay, let's cut that oil out. She cuts out all the oil, cooks with Pam. She was down three pounds the next day. And again, sometimes we look at those vanity metrics of the scale and what goes on with that, and that's good, but when it comes to your overall health, you know, three pounds is a lot of extra weight to be putting on just from adding oil, okay? So I would definitely recommend cutting out that oil. Uh, food number two, nuts and peanut butter. So for those of you who may follow me on social media, I just did a post about this the other day. But again, another food that's hidden as a healthy food. Oh, nuts are very healthy. I'm eating peanut butter. It's good for me. Well, the fact is it's very, very calorie dense as well. Same thing for the oil. In each one of these pictures are different kinds of nuts. So walnuts, almonds, peanuts. So each of these is about 100 calories. There's about 10 to 12 almonds, nuts in each handful. So if you have the almonds on your desk and you say, okay, I'm eating this to be healthy, and you're taking handful after handful after handful, these calories start to add up quickly. And a handful of almonds is not 12, I promise you that. So you wanna be careful of peanut butter, uh, nuts, and all these things, because again, it's all these hidden calories that come in that add to all these other issues that we're solving. As again, going back to what I said earlier, you need to be in that calorie deficit. All right, and this is a big one, you know, and, and the, the eye doctors mentioned, uh, you know, diabetes. So liquid calories, and this came up pretty recently, so this is kind of top of mind for me as I had a conversation with somebody the other day. So basically liquid calories are a big no-no. They just add a bunch of calories to your day, and I'll explain why. So this woman that I had spoken to the other day, again, health markers, wanted to lose weight, you know, pre, uh, she was actually diabetic, you know, wants to improve and get healthier and look better, right? 
So start to talk about her nutrition, dissect what's going on. She proceeds to tell me that she has at least five cans of, you know, soda, whatever, every day. So I said, okay, let me do the math for you. So, and you may be sitting here saying, well, I don't have five cans of soda. But these things add up. A glass of orange juice in the morning, a Starbucks drinks here, uh, a soda for lunch, an iced tea for dinner, whatever, they add up, right? So I did the math for her and I said, okay, well, your five cans of soda is giving you 760 calories every day and 190 grams of sugar. That's a lot. That's a lot. So now if we times that, because remember, you're doing that every day, you times that by seven, that's 5,300 extra calories a week. In one pound of body fat contains 3,500 calories. So she's essentially adding 1.5 pounds of pure body fat every week. And again, you're talking about you know, health markers, you know, body fat and carrying around extra body fat is not good when it comes to all your health markers. And again, it's, it's, you know, I see this all the time and some people just don't know and there's a lot of misinformation in the fitness industry and just what you should do with your nutrition. But a simple thing like this, if she switched to seltzer, plain coffee, and even a diet drink, she could solve all her health issues. So liquid calories are huge, huge no-no. All right, so that's all I got planned for you guys today. I wanted to keep it nice and short and concise. So I have a free nutrition guide for you guys. All you gotta do is just text your email to my phone number and uh, that's all I got. Any questions? Sorry, go ahead. Substitutes for, for uh, olive oil, things like that, you, you say cam. What's in there? Are, are you replacing one bag with another? So typically what's in those PAM sprays is actually olive oil in a spray, but it's just this, the amount that's in there is so minimal that it's gonna cut down the amount. So for example, like I use my mom as the example, she pours the olive oil in. Even if she sprayed that oil for a while, it's still not gonna equal to the amount that's in there. If you're, you know, there's, I really wouldn't be concerned with all that stuff. I would be concerned with the extra calories from the oil. But if you are, you could just make your own spritzer of it. They have like those things that you could make and you could spray your own. You still save a ton. Yeah, so you could actually use that. That's actually one of the better alternatives that we offer and tell our clients to use. It's actually not too bad if you make it like peanut butter. It's actually pretty good. Exactly. So protein powder, again, is protein powder is actually one of the best forms of protein that you can get because it contains all the essential amino acids. So it's, and it digests very easily and it's pretty cheap per serving per, you know, for protein. So I would definitely recommend that we have all of our clients usually so take it. Exactly. Remember it's all in context, right? And if you're adding, like if you, I always tell people, if you're looking to gain weight or gain muscle or bulk up, that's when you would have the peanut butters and the oils and do the opposite of everything I just said. Because that's going to be an easy way to get those calories in.